You might be familiar with the fact that the sum of the first n positive integers is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. And such a number would be called a triangular number. So, I'll give a few examples. The first triangular number, t1, is just equal to 1. The second triangular number, t2, is equal to 1 plus 2. That's equal to 3. And the third triangular number, t3, is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. And that's going to be 6. And I'm going to stop here. The, the fourth triangular number is equal to well, 10, because we just add 4 onto this. So that's neat. We have a series of numbers, or rather a sequence of numbers. And we can calculate, say, the 100th triangular number whenever we want with this nice little formula. However, have you ever considered what is the sum of the first n triangular numbers? Is there a formula for this? Now, for instance, if I gave you the sum of the first 100 triangular numbers, how would you compute that? Well, as I said, it's a good idea to first see if we can derive a general formula for this in terms of n. Where do we even begin? Well, first observe the formula for the nth triangular number. Here we have n plus 1, and that's obviously one more than n. Now, if you're really familiar with combinatorics, you may recognize that this can be written as a binomial coefficient. That is, this is actually equal to, so n times n plus 1 divided by 2. This can be written as a binomial coefficient. This is n plus 1 choose 2. You see? You can, you know, use the formula to expand this, and you'll see it's equal to this. So we have written the nth triangular number as a binomial coefficient. And this is actually going to be quite useful because there are a lot of identities that we can use to simplify the sums of binomial coefficients. So let's plug in n for 1, 2, 3, all the way to, well, n. And that will get us the sum of the first n triangular numbers. So we would have 2 choose 2, and then plus 3 choose 2, and then plus 4 choose 2, and then plus all the way until we have, I'm going to write the last two terms, that's n choose 2 plus n plus 1 choose 2. Now, as I said, there are identities we can use to simplify this sum. But it might not be obvious. What do we do over here? Well, if you know the hockey stick identity, this simplifies very nicely. The hockey stick identity basically states that if you have the sum with k choose k, and then plus k plus 1 choose k, and then k plus 2 choose k, and then you just add all the way until this top part becomes n choose k, then the hockey stick identity states that this sum is simply equal to n plus 1 choose k plus 1. Now, if you are a little bit confused about this, then don't worry, at the end of the video, or at least when I'm done deriving the formula, I'll give a proof for this statement. So this one simplifies very nicely. Notice that this is basically hockey stick identity. We have 2 on the bottom, and we start from 2 here and go up to n plus 1. By hockey stick identity, the sum, using this, would be equal to n choose, sorry, n plus 2 choose 3. And that's the formula. Now, of course, we can expand this binomial coefficient. Expanding this gives us n plus 2 times n plus 1 times n, and then divided by 3 factorial, which is 6. So that is the formula for the sum of the first n triangular numbers. OK, so now let's prove the hockey stick identity. Firstly, you might be wondering, what is this? Don't worry, I'm going to explain it. Firstly, we're going to start off with Pascal's triangle. Now, on its own, it just looks like this. However, we can actually write each of the numbers in the triangle as a binomial coefficient. So that's something choose something. So over here, this 2 is basically this 2 choose 1. And this 10 over here is this 5 choose 2. Now, what's so interesting is, firstly, 
the reason that we can write it as a binomial coefficient is that if you take this number, for instance, 4 choose 3, this is basically saying that there are 4 choose 3 ways to get to this number if you start at 0, 0 in Pascal's triangle and only go down and then diagonally left. You might not have understood that. Don't worry, you can take some time to consider that later on. For now, just assume that, you know, you can just write them as binomial coefficients. So, now, we're going to consider one term. What's another special property about this? Well, this top number, 4 in this case, basically is telling you in what row is this number present. In this case, that's the fourth row. We start at the zeroth row, so that's the fourth row. Now, this bottom number tells you the position of the number in the row. So that's the third number, again, starting at zero. So we see that each number also has a very special form that can help us. So if I were to just take this particular 4 choose 3, then I'm going to suppose that it's n choose k. I know it's 4 choose k. Uh, sorry, I know it's 4 choose 3 uh, specifically, but I'm still going to generalize to n choose k. Now, we know that the, by the property of Pascal's triangle, this number is equal to the sum of the previous two numbers above. Now, how, how would we write this number towards the left? Well, first of all, this n on top has been decreased by 1. And this bottom number has also been decreased by 1, so that's k minus 1. And then it's also, and then we also have a plus. And then we also have this number. Now, again, this top number has been decreased by 1. But this bottom number hasn't changed. It's still 3, 3 in this case. So that's still k. And we have derived an identity on its own. This is actually called... Pascal's identity. And this is an, is an identity that I have derived for the purpose of also proving this hockey stick identity. Now, in order to prove this identity, we're going to proceed by induction. So, we're going to start with a simple base case. That base case I'll prove is k choose k plus k plus 1 choose k. And by the formula, this should equal to k plus 2 choose k plus 1. I put an equal with a question mark here because we don't know it. We don't know if this is true yet. We have to prove it. So let's prove this. Firstly, k choose k is just 1, and k plus 1 choose k. Well, k plus 1 is just 1 more than k, so that's just k plus 1. Now, is this equal to this? Well, k plus 2 is just 1 more than k plus 1. So this, this binomial coefficient just evaluates to k plus 2. And obviously, this becomes k plus 2. And, well, the left-hand side and right-hand side are both equal to each other. So we're done. Now we need to move on to our inductive step to prove this identity. First off, we're going to assume that there exists a positive integer m such that this identity is true. Now, we already proved that. When m is equal to k plus 1, it works. So, we know that there exists such an m. So, does that mean that this identity will also work for m plus 1? Now, that's what we need to prove. So, let's do that. Firstly, we've assumed that for m, it works. So we can, actually, we can actually replace this entire sum before the m plus 1 choose k. We can replace that with the formula. So that would be m plus 1 choose k plus 1. And then here we have plus m plus 1 choose k. Now, is this sum equal to this? Well, look at this, Pascal's identity. <laughs> it's finally coming into play. Notice that the m plus 1s they are the n minus ones over here. And this k is this, and this k over here is actually this k minus 1, because this k plus 1 is this k. It's one more, because this is one more than this. So by Pascal's identity, this just evaluates to m plus 2 choose k plus 1. And this obviously can be written as m plus 1 plus 1, and then choose k plus 1. So we proved that if it works for m, it also works for m plus 1. Well, we already, we already know that there exists an m such that this formula works. 
So basically, by induction, it works for all positive integers. So this identity is indeed true. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. Definitely take some time to review some combinatorial identities because they can be very, very helpful. So yeah, if you found this video interesting, then please do consider dropping a like and subscribing. And also turn on bell notifications to receive updates whenever I upload. Thank you very much. Bye.